New Love. Okay, listen. I don't know what's going on, but you got to watch the weekly as well because that was all about love, heart healing, the return of the high priestess, us embodying that energy. And now we have New Love coming out. Um, Listen, I've never been, I guess you want to see that maybe for another second. I've never been one to be like, oh, Twin Flames, baby, that. You know how I feel about that. Ooh, people got turned off and got mad. They scurried away from my channel and they're like, oh, God, how dare you say such things? But listen, I do I do think that there is something having to do with, uh, you know, divine counterparts and having a mission to sound very sci-fi, <laughs> having a mission with another person where it is never a spiritual connection is where you think you have to stay in an abusive situation because we're soulmates. No. No. Oh, okay. No, it's the wounding. <laughs> I don't know. I got, I got frustrated for a second. That's the wounding of the divine feminine. And remember, that could be in men too, right? It doesn't have to be. It could be in anybody. It doesn't, a man, woman, it doesn't have, it doesn't um, discriminate. So if you carry a lot of feminine energy, that wounding of that energy could have you feeling helpless. So oh, yes, you know the pick me girl, right? Her only sense of self-worth is through the attention of a man or being in a relationship because you don't know how to be on your own. Like that's not healthy, okay? But for some of you, you've done the work. Maybe you have gone on the solitary path for perhaps years and years. And I want to talk about that for just a moment. A lot of the healing of the divine feminine would find you being by yourself and not being entertained in the slightest by the notion that you have to pair up with someone in order to be worth something. I think about... Jesus going off and, and learning everything he needed to learn. You would be going through the same kind of thing, right? So uh, self-reflection, being disconnected from other people's opinions for a bit, having to fend for yourself, and now you're coming back. And if you say, well, what does that have to do with new love? Only if you've been single. If you're somebody who just constantly needs attention, and I, I'll tell you what, if you cheat, that's karma. I don't care what your circumstances are. If you cheat, there's karma. End of it. I didn't make the rules, okay? I get a lot of people who come for personal readings. By the way, I do personal readings. Angelsouls444.com. <laughs> you can book one of those if you still like me after this video. Um, or you can get a live session. I am booking those right now. Email me for the live sessions at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. But if you are... Like I've heard this where someone's with someone and they're like, well, you know, this person's lovely and whatever, but this other person super excites me. And I just, I want to have both. You have a lot to learn. And if you've never been single, not like you haven't been spiritual the entire time. I'm not trying to like, it's fine. It's fine if you've been in a relationship because everyone's timeline is different. Everyone has different things that they're to learn, right? So for you, it might be mastering partnership. But if you've never really given yourself, even within those relationships, some time to yourself to reflect, then how do you know how you feel? How do you know it's your true feelings and not your feelings being masked by someone else's feelings. See what I'm saying? But for those of you who have been on the long singledom journey, and I'm talking five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plus years, you're a master. <laughs> you are a master of your own heart. And um, whether you're looking for it or not, I don't even know. I don't know. There's something coming up. Comment down below. Give me the tea. Let me know about your life. And I love you. Okay? So I will see you next time. Take care.